According to reports, Prince Harry is worried sick that his much-awaited biography will lead to a new war with the royals. According to the insider who spoke with Heat magazine, Meghan is urging him to tell his truth and not hide what really happened, while he grapples with what to put in the book. They also said every single passage is going through multiple rounds of editing. Harry can't stop thinking of fresh things he wants to include in the book, and then he gets all worked up about having to cut back on some antidotes. Amongst the latest news about Meghan and Harry, it is thought that the couple are unlikely to rebut author Tom Bower's claims in the newly released book about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Since they are no longer full-time working royals, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have broken the Queen's never-complain, never-explain rule more than once. The new book by Tom Bower is titled Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors. And according to royal commentator Gareth Russell, neither Meghan nor Harry will address the explosive charges, allegations or put the record right on the book. For example, Mr Russell told US Weekly, You just can't answer all of them. Answering every book or allegation that comes your way would take up your entire day. You won't have spare time to devote to your own mental health and your own well-being. According to the expert, a lot of speculation is to be expected when celebrities like the Sussexes are involved. To elaborate, he said, it doesn't always do anyone good in public life to always be answering and rebutting those claims. Royal pundit Roya Nikki Ha has suggested Prince Harry may rebut certain stuff, mentioned by Mr Bower in the biography released last year, which conflicts with Mr Russell's prediction that the Duke and Duchess will remain mute about the allegations. The expert, who appeared on the Royal Beat podcast, emphasised that no publisher has announced plans to issue Harry's memoir, despite the fact that it is widely anticipated that it will do so by late 2022. What she actually stated was, the longer he waits to publish, the more time he has to read other accounts of his life, such as Tom Bowers' book, and formulate his own account of what happened. And nowadays, everyone knows that Harry is not afraid to say what he thinks is the truth. Accordingly, so if it's not ready at the printers under top secrecy, he may well go and read the Bower book and then be able to go back and rebut certain stuff, assuming that it has not already been sent to the printers under top secrecy. The royal couple has not yet responded to Mr Bower's allegations publicly. The Duke of Sussex was asked last week about the 452-page book when he visited the United Nations headquarters in New York. The clip was tweeted by Voice of America reporter Margaret B. Scheer, who can be heard asking Harry, Are you worried that Tom Bower's new book is going to widen your rift with the royal family? The Duchess of Sussex and her husband appeared to give the reporter a quick glance, but if they heard the question, they ignored it and continued on their way to the General Assembly plenary session honouring Nelson Mandela. Mr Bower's book covers Meghan's life from childhood to the present, including her time spent acting and her joining of the royal family. Among the most outlandish assertions is that the Duke and Duchess got into a monumental argument about the arrivals at the Commonwealth Day service, days before they resigned out as senior royals in March 2020. The allegations in Mr Bower's book have also affected other members of the British royal family. Before Meghan and Harry's first child was born, Camilla allegedly quipped that it would be humorous if the infant had ginger afro hair. Sources close to Camilla have dismissed this notion as nonsense, despite the fact that Clarence House has remained silent on the matter. Also, Mr Bower alleged the Queen said to her staff, Thank goodness Meghan is not coming when she learned that the Duchess of Sussex would not be attending the funeral of Prince Philip in April of last year.